Good morning. It's day 106. Uh, it's going to be a early uh, cruisy day into Kennedy Meadow South, only four or five miles from Grant Camp last night. And uh, I just wanted to reflect a little bit. Uh, I squeezed out a little, the last of the juice of my backup battery this morning and put it into my phone so I could make this video. Uh, uh, big thanks to Tutu and Swarm uh, for plussing me up with a couple days of food and uh, and an extra fuel canister. So I was able to bypass uh, Kearsarge Pass, which itself is eight and a half miles off the trail, which gets you to a trailhead. You know, you're just hours away from a town saved me two days so I was able to to blow through uh, that's not to say that uh, there weren't some short rations because uh, there were I, I did split some rations and uh, this morning I was able to find uh, a couple granola bars that were lurking uh, at the bottom of my bear canister, uh, camouflaging themselves as uh, as mere wrappers. Uh, so I did have a little bit. But other than that, what food I have left over is I have a uh, a mayo packet, one of uh, olive oil. I have a third of a packet of potato flakes and uh, just about the same of uh, some brown gravy mix. And other than that, I have, let's see here, let's pull them out. Let's see, four, I mean, three, three almond M&Ms. Mm, that's what I'm going to go into town with. Okay. Yeah. No M&Ms left either. I wonder where the mail packs are. Hmm. Okay, well, I will count this as a success. Um, I'm not even sure how many days it was. I'm going to have to add it up. I went without a town stop, resupply, or anything like that. I better look around here because I'm about to lose the trail. Okay, heading into Kennedy Meadows. I'm here at uh, the porch at the general store at uh, Kennedy Meadows South. And uh, I haven't seen so many people that I <laughs> have known um, the whole trail. And they're all just, it, it was funny. So, so when you hike up here, traditionally, um, you get like an applause from people on the porch. So as I, as I was coming up, I saw some people up on the porch, but I figured they were all like locals, you know, not other hikers. No, there are two, three dozen through hikers here. Um, I've met most of them previously. Um, just saw a guy inside, uh, Maverick, but uh, he was he was at Dan's, you know, before I ever got on the trail. I mean, we were there together. Uh, all sorts of people. That I've that I've known, and so it's a very welcoming um, scenario here. Uh, the other thing is there's just so much to do. So I've had a shower, laundry. One of my socks went missing. Uh, uploading videos, making videos, compiling the videos that takes some time. Um, the other thing that that um, that is very interesting is um, I'm not a big drinker at all. 
I mean, I'll have a beer. Maybe I'll have two normally. I think I'm on my sixth beer and my liver is way ahead of, of the alcohol. It, it can't build up at all. It's just, it's just getting digested right away. And I don't, you know, I don't even have like a slight buzz. I mean, just like nothing. Um, I am trying to eat a lot. I had a big, their big hiker breakfast. Then to top it off, I had an Italian sausage. I have a half pound burger coming here. And that's just all sort of between 10 a.m. and and 4 p.m. So um, having a great time here. Um, I have to wait um, until tomorrow morning to go to Triple Crown Outfitters to turn in my bear canister. They're not open today. And um, and I'll probably do the bulk of my resupply there. Um, I'll, be, I'll be able to get some things here. And uh, my plan is to blow through Walker Pass, resupply for 150 miles. This is sort of becoming um, almost my standard. If, if I can avoid going into town, you know, 80 miles in or whatever with a town stop, maybe an overnight, etc. I'm just like, I'm, I'm just staying on trail. Um, and I'm considering then what to do after Tehachapi. Um, but, you know, more to follow on that.